Hawaii's erupting Kilauea volcano could take many more years before it fully empties its underground reservoirs of molten lava, United States Geological Survey scientists gravely warn. Scientists fear that the lava released by Kilauea so far has not even scratched the surface of its hidden magma reserves. When asked if the Hawaii volcano's chambers will empty anytime soon, the U.S. agency admitted there is no accurate way of knowing. The USGS said, quote, we're not exactly sure how much magma is stored beneath the summit. We have only estimates, but we are confident it is at least in excess of 100 times what has been erupted so far from Fisher 8. So we would need years of the current eruption rate to empty the summit. The pressure beneath the summit is already quite low, so it's unlikely that such a scenario could ever come into play. Some level of pressure is needed to drive the magma from the summit to the lower east rift zone eruption site. The USGS added it is also unlikely the Kilauea summit will collapse in on itself despite intense volcanic activity around the slumbering crater. Now that information from the USGS is awfully deceptive because if you look at footage of the summit, you can tell from the footage of the summit that it is collapsing in on itself. So that is an outright lie from the USGS. Now, the news comes after data collected by the European Space Agency satellites reveal rapid deformation of the volcano's summit. And on Sunday, June 17th at 6.26 a.m. Hawaiian Standard Time, the USGS recorded a small explosive collapse of Kilauea's summit. At least four volcanic fissures in the lower east rift zone are currently active with strong lava fountaining from Fissure 8 in the Lialani area. The USGS said fountain ranging between 60 and 165 feet from the Fissure 8 spatter cone continued to feed lava into the well-established channel that flows to the ocean at Kopoho. Occasionally, minor amounts of lava briefly spill over the channel levees. The ocean entry remained fairly broad with lays blown ashore. Fissure 16 and 18 continued to ooze lava. Since Kilauea's eruption began on May 3rd this year, Lava flows have covered more than 9.2 square miles of land. So in quick summary, guys, the USGS is lying. That summit is actually collapsing in on itself. And you can look at this footage and see that for yourself. I don't have to convince you of that. What do you think, guys? Will the killer whales volcano current eruption in anytime soon? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.